Ralph Waldo Emerson once said that the purpose of life is not to be happy, but to be useful, to be honorable, to be compassionate, to have it, make some differences, and this is the life Emmanuel Carissa Bayer, who has dedicated himself to live. Born and bred in Magarini, Emmanuel grew like any other kid in the constituency. Having lost his parents at an early age, he had to fend for himself and the only way he could do that was to work as casual laborer to educate himself. Magarini Sub County has 100 schools, out of which only 26 have a feeding program. In a constituency that is grappling with poverty, education is affected as many children stay at home because of hunger. Hunger is not the only factor affecting them. Shortage of water and having to walk for long distances to school are major contributors to this problem. As a result, the children are forced to fend for themselves. Seeing their struggle, Emmanuel began to feed, gather and teach them, balancing his farming and his newfound job. The number of children increased tremendously. Out of the curiosity, he wanted to know why all these children were not in school and he found out that most of them were orphaned and others vulnerable children in the community. The rate of orphans was high because of the high death of uh, uh, HIV AIDS. It was very high. I saw people, children were most were vulnerable and became others became orphans. His concern brought forth Magarini Children's Centre and Organic Farming Demonstration Farm. Magarini Children's Centre and Organic Farming Demonstration Farm was found in the year 2009, month June 3rd. He purchased eight acres of land from the community and dedicated that piece to the children. The centre is caring for 150 children in the bracket of 2 to 14 years. We thought it's better for these children to have um, skills, to have life skills on how they can mend themselves. And this, we said, it's important to initiate programs because the main goal, as we found the need from the community, we said the main goal is to build a self-reliant community, a community where they grow their own food, not, not only their own food, but safe, healthy food. In the center, children get formal education as well as learn sustainable ways of growing food and caring for each other. We can get vegetables for our children. As long as agriculture is the main, main, main way of getting, of getting food. Do this. The project has brought together the community to teach and learn organic farming, soil improvement, reforestation, as well as fulfill the project's objective, which is to take care of the children. God is way. Ambo huo tulikuwa tujui lakini tangu yanze shule tumeona tumeanza ku kupanda ngazi na ijapo bado tuko chini lakini tuomba Mungu kama tuweza tukapata msaada zaidi na, na hii pia elimu hii elimu ya ukulima na pia watoto wetu hao wata, watakuwa mahali pazuri Using what he gets from his farm's produce, he is able to appreciate the volunteers and run the center as he is yet to get donors. Because we, the number of children is increasing uh, day by day, people are requesting for more opportunity to 
bring to bring children from the vulnerable children uh, community even around the subordinate communities they want to come then we found that we cannot cater we need to see the children eat in the morning eat in the afternoon eat in the evening so that as we try to nurture them they get that healthy wise but because of our um, we are not yet um, uh, uh, having that uh, funds, having that uh, support. Right now, we, as we started, we did not have any support, even from the government, we did not have support. The children come in the morning, have a formal class, enjoy lunch after, which they have time to play and go back for classes again, then have some time in the shamba where they learn best practices of farming. When we, t we do farming organically, we take care of the environment. We conserve it, we bring, and more so we create the relationship, the broken relationship between us and nature. Though with many challenges, they forge forward, knowing there is a better tomorrow. For the last seven years, the organization has been in existence. Children left without care and protection can now access education and have hope for the future. Farmers are learning new skills in sustainable agriculture and becoming aware of the challenge of climate, all participating in community activities and taking initiative to solve their own problems. The best way to not feel hopeless is to get up and do something. Don't wait for good things to happen to you. If you go out and make some good things to happen, you will fill the world with hope be part of this great organization and fill these kids with hope of a better tomorrow. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go!